Uh, welcome back, guys. Another day of Dead Island 2. Almost said Dying Light 2. It's funny that both Dying Light 2 and Dead Island 2 came out so close to each other. Actually, it was Dead Island was last year, wasn't it? My God, time. Time's crazy. Time moves like the, the years sort of blur together. I can't remember which what year was which down. Oh, like Jesse or her friends oh dear God. The zombies That's a lot. All right. Back up. There's so many of them. Chop his legs up! Thank you. Oh, oh, well, one's still alive there. Okay. Scoots, 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 scoots. What the fu- Better watch my step. This place has trap, um, Survivors have raped the areas of LA with dangerous traps, so stay alert. Press F to disarm a trap. Aim this way. Oh god. Whew. I definitely watch my step. Okay, I see trip wires. I can use these though. Are you gonna come over here, buddy? Come here. Come on. Uh oh. Come on. Gosh. <laughs> Let's disarm that one, though. Metal parts and shotgun shells. Maybe I should save those. Be careful to not set off any traps. If I set off a trap, chat's gonna laugh at me. And that's not cool. All right, ma'am. Ma'am! Need to back off, ma'am! All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to rebind. Instead of left alt, we'll make this Q. And then we will make the other thing we have there, the curveball. We'll make that left alt. If I use that much less. Oops. So I use block all the time, use those things. Rarely and have a cooldown, so I don't just press it constantly. So, left. Q. And then. Save changes. There we go. There, now I can block. Much easier than before. And then we can left off if we need a little. Hello, Jesse, anyone? I don't know what that is. Hello, is anyone here? Just looking around for loot and materials and zombie killing stuff. I'm doing great today. How's everyone else in chat doing today? Uh-oh. That looks very deadly trap right there. Uh, okay, that I see a shotgun facing an explosive barrel. That seems like that would be very not nice to uh, step on.
we can activate that over there. Okay, that's all blocked up. He said, hi. Oh, shit. And smack your face. Oh, you think you're so cool you got glasses on? Yeah? Well, how about this? Yeah. Not so cool now, are you? Can I climb this? No, it's not. What is that sound? That does not sound good. Shocking runner. Oh god, why are you so No, sir! Oh god. Shocking How does he have that much electricity in him? Door opens from the other side. That stereo looks incredibly electrified as well. Hmm. I'm gonna go down here. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, he's like Zombie Thor, the god of hammers. Police baton. Hi. Stupid zombie is stupid. Thank you. That heal from doing that is super OP. Well, I have to go through that door, and unfortunately, there's no way to like disarm the trap without stepping into it. Careful! Okay. Why is no one coming? I'm making enough noise here. Jeez. No one's coming because you know no one likes you. Yeah, we, I I decided able to buy throw in a little jug over there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that looks heavily electrified. Okay, turn it off in here. That looks like a big zombie that's gonna activate once it try to turn off this thing over here. I'm not stupid, ma'am. You think I'm stupid, but I'm not. Okay, you you are dead. Hey, oh god, the insane! Ah, damn it! She actually was dead. It's these two in the corner that I didn't see. Bam! Come here, sir. Come on. Come get this hammer! Yeah! to pay for me. Well, what's up here? This must be leading to something, right? They must be guarding something clever up here. But what? Oh. Hey, Mr. Zombie! Oh my god! Hey! Oh my god! Okay. Sir. <laughs> Swish. Oh my. 
Um. Help! Is someone here? Or are you a trap too? She could be a zombie that's yelling just to fool me. We need to kill this noise. Ow! God, ow. Turn off this damn speaker. There we go. Oh god. My ears. They must be getting old. I know, listen to loud music when you get older. When you're when you're younger, when you go to like a loud concert, you're like, yeah, this is so cool. The next day you're fine, and then um and then when you get older, the next day after a loud concert, you're like, oh god, I can't hear, my ears hurt. Oh. Whew. Sure glad you showed up. Hello. Hi. I'm Jesse. Ryan. Hi, Jesse. I'm a uh, friend of Michael's. Oh, he never mentioned you. <laughs> You're, uh, um, apocalypse buddies. You bonded over not being dead? Yeah, kinda. Do you know where he is? On his way to Monarch Studios. Monarch Studios. Monarch Studios. You say why? He had to get something important. So I made a lot of noise to distract all the zombies, and Michael snuck through the gate to the studio access road. My plan was to hang out with the construction guys till the zombies got bored and left. Oh, the construction guys who are all zombies too? Well, obviously I didn't know about that. They were fine yesterday. Okay, well, look, your mom is worried about you. Oh, they regained consciousness, did they? You know, she was perfectly sensible before she met Ricky. Now it's like trying to keep a couple of wasted teenagers alive. Uh, they are lucky to have a responsible adult around. Hmm. I just hope Michael comes back. I miss having someone intelligent. <laughs> Need some help getting home? I'm pretty sneaky when Michael's not galumphing along next to me. You can get going. All right, well, good luck. If you're so sneaky, how'd you get caught in here, huh? <laughs> Story doesn't add up, ma'am. Uncommon melee mutilator mod. Ooh. Ooh. Level nine required. How about the kitchen knife? Let's see, can we make this cool? Uh, mutilator. Minor physical damage boost says it hits to a zombie also play weak in fact hitting weak zombie regains stamina. Hmm. And we want attack speed if we can. Let's do damage. Let's make this knife super good. It's gonna be super knife. Well, thanks, Jesse, for your help. Let's try the knifey knife. Oh, it's got razor blades on it. Uh oh. Take that, sir. Get sliced. Foreman's key. I don't have that. Hi from Poland. Well, hello. I know knife attacks real fast. Thank you. Scaffolding pole. What are those right there? Fasteners. I'll take those. Uh, there's no pool. Wait a minute. There is a pool here. It's right there on that side. Possibly. Also, there's a little building right there we can inspect. Let's go take a look see see what we can find. I want all the loot and blueprints. It's it is blocked. 
Apparently there's another entrance over here. Can I... Oh, a fuse. Um, that's very trapped. Oh my god. Um. Shotgun, shotgun, aerosol can. Sometimes you just gotta YOLO that shit. Whee! Disable, disable. Scrap, adhesive, alloy. Ooh, what's that? A blue weapon. Oh, missed one. Back up, sir. All right. Thank you, Liz, for the raid. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Whoa. Uh oh. Hi there. Ow. Ow, can I not? Oh, oh. oh God. Guys are brutal. Oh, I didn't check the pools. Let's go back and check the pools before we get. I want to unlock this super sword. The Jod seat. Not quite. Uh oh. This guy has a proper name. Okay, well, I stabbed him in the brain. He's he's gone now. Uh, uh oh. Now I can't go to that doorway. All right, let's um, let's check the pool to see if there's anything in the pool. There's a guy apparently hit a bunch of stuff around pools. There should be one over here. Uh, nope. Stay down. Stay down. Ow! Gotcha in the face. Hell yeah. Catch! <laughs> I'll take that back now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, the to my left, right there. This man's getting a jacuzzi and a pool. Greedy. Very greedy. I don't even have one of those things. It's not fair. Uh, you can block, and uh, if you block at the right time, you can counterattack. The counterattack seems a little, like, super strong. Like, little, probably not very balanced. Because you can block stuff, and then, like, they get stunned for a very long time. And also, it's AoE stun as well. It's 
It seems like uh, if you just block your way through, the game is like easy. The timing is a little weird on blocks though, because it's got to be like before their arms start moving, you got to block. And you get to have a super hit and restore a bunch of health. Watch out, it's going to zap. Much of <laughs> The timing on the block seems strange. You gotta like do it so early for it to like count. I don't know if that's a bug or what, but it's just weird. Alright, well we looked all over here. I didn't see any sort of note or around the pool. They only have there's not even a finished house. So the next pool would be next door. Which, I guess we go back out, or out this way. And it wants me to go. That way? That shouldn't be this way. Uh, is there a pool here? Fountain, but no pool. Possibly right over there. Uh, we're in Beverly Hills, and so these people here got money. They're like movie stars and stuff, so they are loaded with the money. So these houses are like crazy expensive. The people that live in these places are the type that have like, you know, a summer home, a spring home, a winter home, maybe a couple homes on different islands in case they want to go on vacation randomly. Uh, Twitch streamer alert, uh, some could afford it, but not many. This is like serious money. The people that get prior like 10,000 plus viewers a day are the ones that are like multi, multi millionaires. They could probably afford it if they wanted to. Uh oh. Uh, sir, no. You played yourself, sir. What's in here? Something's in here. Does this house have a pool? Looks like there's maybe one. Maybe there's one inside? Possibly. And catch! Yeah! Oh! I'm supposed to be dead when I hit you in the head with a knife, sir. Ooh, okay. Uh, defensive skill card unlocked. Uh, just gonna start block attacks or take damage from zombies in a quick session for minor boost to damage that stacks multiple times. Ooh. So block and boost my damage too now. Dodge. And now we also have the dodge ability. Oh, so you can dodge instead of block on some characters if you want. So it's you do either or. You either block or you dodge. You don't have both. Interesting. Zombies are already dead? Well, I'd argue that something that's dead, it doesn't move and walk around and go, uh, so they're, they're like, they're not quite alive. They're not dead. They're like undead. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna take that. 
What was that very large scrapey sound I just heard? There must be a way into that home right there. <laughs> Powder. Right here on the left. There's gotta be some way in there. How's the game so far? It's um It's pretty fun. It's definitely a bit repetitive. Uh, with the zombie killing, because it's mostly just slaying zombies. So it depends on how m fun you enjoy, how much you enjoy the killing of the zombies, because there's a lot of that. But the the melee combat's very fun. <laughs> zombies react to your uh, smacking them very well. It's also a very large number of zombies. So all are different clothes, have different faces, different heads, different body shapes and sizes. It's, they have a very good monster zombie variety. I cannot get in here. There must be some way in this property. I don't know how to get in now. No interaction here available. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's um. Ah! Careful! Come on! Uh -oh. Med kit, beautiful. <laughs> oh, that guy has that guy's a skull. We don't mess with skulls. Uh, go around this way. Nope. Yeah, there must be something later for this. We'll come back. Don't mess with me, sir. There. Let's try to get um, on the road again, I guess. All right, let's go this way. Uh, the game's pretty funny at times, though. I, I give this game a good, like, 7 out of 10 so far. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It's not like... Inventing th anything really new, it's just doing zombie killing very well. Like it's very fun. It's it's fun going around just slaughtering some zombies and stuff. Looks very good. Runs really well. Not having any bugs or anything, which is nice for nice nowadays to have a game that's not like full of bugs all the time. I'd say they. I'd say it's very good. You know, it's not like mind blowing. I don't think it'll like win any, any awards or anything, but it's it's worth playing. Multiplayer is really laggy though. Oh, I haven't played multiplayer. That sucks. If there's if multiplayer is um, laggy. Uh, there's no difficulty settings and it's quite easy, which can be a complaint for some people. So if you want a, a hard game, it's not really hard. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Okay, watch that. Trap there. Med kit. Cleaver. What is that loud, scrapey sound? Co op was smooth for you? Well, I guess it just probably depends on like what you're playing on and who you're playing with. Seems like people are having different experiences. All right, let's 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 do the main quest. Follow Michael to Monarch Studios, which is apparently this way. 
Uh, this game has much le has much less emphasis on any sort of parkour stuff. It's much more about um, it's much more focused on um, combat. A little bit of climbing and stuff, but not much. Oh, Monarch Studio's a loading screen. Follow the paper trail on the pools of Beverly Hills. It's saying to go that way, 300 meters. Oh, once we go to Bel Air. Okay, well. Remind, we'll come back for that later. That quest is gonna make you run all over the place. Uh, Riptide? I don't know what you're talking about. That game doesn't exist to me. I erased that from my memory. Some of the characters that we've met in the quest have been pretty funny. Especially Panties Man and his wife. Actually, maybe wife. I don't know if he even was his wife. <gasps> Hi! Oh! <laughs> he did not enjoy that. Oh. That did 500 damage to their face? Not bad. Oh god, that's a lot of chemicals. Do you guys want to, like, uh, step on the chemicals for me? And wreck yourselves? Ah, ah! Back. And again. Oh, God. Stop it. Colonel Evans. Smack. The distraction wore off. Where am I going? Shit. <laughs> what the? What just happened? Uh. Okay. Dead zone key that card. Looks like a pass card. Okay. Well then. This game is Dead Island 2, and it came out yesterday. Uh, scope is the Alexa integration, which I still don't know how that's supposed to function. Apparently, you link the game to Alexa, and then she's able to, like, somehow do stuff in-game. I I haven't tested it yet. You have to, like, link your Amazon account and stuff to the game, and it's I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely some sort of bug happening. I don't know what. Not go that way. Why is there a claymore ran ra lying around? So you can just equip it and slice people. Well, let's see, uh, Mr. Claymore. Oh, what's that? Uh, Chris Chat. Chris T. I got a vent. It's what the Chris Chat's for. Chris D, I need a break from this car that's tossing crap up and down. Chris T, there's there's this one guy who came up and you can smell the free spirit on him and talk about how zombies are just sick people, man. We shouldn't be shooting at them and shit. Like you're entitled to your free speech and tinfoil ads, buddy, but I'm the one who has to stop everyone uh, who just lost someone from stomping your dumb head in. 
Read the fucking room, huh? Moron. Had this guy that like that at the hotel roll up uh, thinking he's some genius. No, this is real. They're not they're not really dying. The government is lying, all that shit. So I come in a room the zombie to see how real it is. There's always people where everything is a conspiracy. Everything's a conspiracy theory. Everything's evil. You can't trust anything. It's all evil. Even like it's like, come on. Jeez, people, relax. Uh, Chris T. Yo, you get in trouble for that. Chris Brim. Why do you think Booker um, put him on waste disposal today? He was fine. Zombie was defanged, declawed, neutered, had it on, uh, had it in our sights. But uh, ten seconds of it gum in the guy's face, and he had wet panties and a whole new perspective. Kept uh, real quiet getting on the bus after that. Nice. All I've had at check-in was a family with weird names, not the parents. They were Jack and Jill Normal. They were kids called Elwin, Meadowgreen, and Yamadark. Uh, you can tell they hate it. Now that's rough. This character is from Centaur of the Dragonflyers. My kids are obsessed with that shit. You got nothing? Uh, you really got nothing, Sanderson? Process one lady had this big, uh, fresh shiner. Said she just fell, but we had to check. No bites, high temp, just a bunch of old bruises. So she was good to go. Plane ticket was in her husband's name. He wasn't there. She said the zombies got him. When she said that, she looked like like the happiest person I've seen all week. Whoa, dark but fair. Okay. Let's open this. Changing the lights by me felt so cool. Hell yeah. Fight through the fight through the dead zone to Monarch Studios. Pipe bomb. Pipe bomb, okay. Um, flick soggy traumatizes. That one goes boom. Now, when they say dead zone, what does that mean? Oh god. Come on. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Get electrified. Get electrified. Woo! Well, thank you guys for stopping by. That was very nice of you. Oh, more scrap. Metal parts. I'll take that. Oh god. Oh, that was slight! Woo! Did you just do a roll? Oh god. Oh. Oh dear God. Okay. Um, smack that. There we go. Thank you. Scaffolding. Oh, med kit. Need that. Ma'am. Ma'am, stay back. Don't, don't you dare. Don't, ma'am. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> My protein bar. Let's go ahead and... Boop. That looks like that would explode if I were to... Um, <laughs> uh oh, he's still very much alive, though. Oh, 
Oh god, that was shit. Watch it. He's stuck in the water. <laughs> There you go. He looked very, very upset at me. That's okay. This is a broadsword we got as a random drop. Uh, you're entering a dead zone. Turn back now. No permanent, permanent military presence. Assume infected. Destroy. Okay. A dead zone. Nice. Okay, turn on his grenades. <laughs> well, that takes care of that problem. <laughs> oh, she's dancing. Uh, this game does not have difficulty settings. There's only one difficulty and it just is what it is. It's getting nighttime. It's like almost sunset. Very close. Actually, it is sunset. It's a little past sunset. Can barely see light in the sky. Monarch Studios. Yay! Oh, it looks like the ad manager wants to play an ad, so we'll just uh, explore around a little bit more before we go do anything important. We'll be right back after the ad break, guys. We'll just be looking around, killing some cheap zombies. You shouldn't miss anything important. Yeah, the game's relatively easy, um, even if you play the less tanky Monarch characters. Monarch Studios. Why would Michael risk his life to come here? Rise of the House Spider God. <laughs> oh, we have a new slot. Let's see. Your brick wall block, moderate toughness and force. Counter attacks regain extra health. Using a med kit uh, deploys a forceful explosion to drain stability of nearby monsters. I'll try that then. Be pretty powerful. Dino, do you thank you for the Prime Gaming so I appreciate that. Let's see what's on this side lot before we go in the main. Where would he be? Hi. Sorry, ma'am. Just gonna slice a little off the top. Sorry, you need a little hair cut? I got you. Here, just a little bit more. There you go. Thank you very much. He, uh, that was a Starbucks guy, and he did not make my copy correctly. So, I had to enact vengeance. Oh, <laughs> sir. I've learned it at, um, that if if anyone ever messes up your coffee or your food in a public place, you're allowed to scream at them and holler and yell, especially if it's only like a $2 sandwich. 
I learned that on TikTok. I watched all these ladies yell at um, people. Apparently, and they ha you have to yell about how you have rights, and that you want to talk to the, you know, their manager. Catch my sword! Uh oh, whoa. Thank you. I need something to reliably light stuff on fire. Alright, welcome back from the ad breaks, guys. Now we're gonna we're just at the beginning of the studio and we're gonna go inside now. Thanks for dealing with ads, no one likes them, but thank you for dealing with them. This is a movie stars trailer. Uh, her name is Aaron O'Dotery, Space Fox 2250. Fabric, cash, teddy bear. Um, she's got her own private toilet. Ooh, fancy. What the hell happened? In, why is it so blue in here? Why would the, it be covered in blue? It's like she murdered a Smurf and it exploded. Okay, uh, another. Like there's a bunch of movie stars around here. Whoa. Okay, it's pretty good damage. Oh, she was the sound guy, the, the boom, uh, boom mic. Fancy case. We can repair that. Um, oh, we can upgrade both of these guys. Let's see. What can we do on you? We can have two perk slots. I hate ads, but I'm here. You're a subscriber. You don't get ads <laughs> on this channel if you're a sub. Durability force reduces attack speed. Um, if you're ever getting an ad as a subscriber, log out and log back in. That's a bug. Attack speed reduces force. Durability force. Let's do attack speed boost and use durability and force reduces attack. Okay, no nope. damage reduces durability. Increases force reduces attack speed. Durability and force. And then fire damage? No. Nope. If I add a mod, it goes down. Increases force. Why would adding a mod make it go down in damage? Hmm, well. Interesting. Let's do uh let's what about the broadsword? Let's do a flaming broadsword. Attack speed, yeah. So we'll put that in that place. That in that place. All these ones are very old, we can get rid of them. Uh, scrap. Scrap. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Less than 180 damage? No, thank you. I 
can only have so much scrap, apparently. My god, there's gonna be so many materials back. <laughs> Jeez. Why can't he just open the shower door? What? <laughs> I have to smash it. There's no other option. Chat. I think this trailer may be haunted. Because. They're moving on their own. <gasps> it's a ghost. Clothes for cleaning, sure. Definitely a ghost, a ghost bathroom. Uh, oh, hello, ma'am. Back up, back up. Yeah, light that on fire. Oh, God. Please flush toilet paper only. No sanitary products. Sanitary pro. Oh, they mean women hygiene stuff. Oh. Oh, God. Can you imagine having to, oh, no. Butter the bitch. What? <laughs> to Albert Wong. Subject, re-operation butter the bitch. Uh, hey bro, the operation is good. She definitely holding up. That Wong charm is doing its thing. But I still got to be careful not to push. Found out she likes tennis, so I just happened to run into her at her club. Winky face. Made sure to let her win. I made, I mentioned the script and how much of an endorsement from the great Emma Jaunt would mean, but just super low-key, you know. Plant the seed. Another week of buttering her up, and I'll see if I can get her to make a few calls for us. I can taste that EP credit, bro. And then we're set. Talk soon. Keep working things you're in, Vern. Men are scum. Trying to pretend like they like some old lady to get her to help them. Scummy, scummy, scummy. Just planting the seed, bro. Planting the seed. Uh, we're playing this on PC, and we're playing on. We got it from the Epic Game Store. It's not on Steam uh, currently. It's only on Epic. Yo, oh, what the fuck? Caustic is slime. This shit? Ugh. Great. Alex Hernandez, Rise of the God Spider. I keep hearing like a bug or something. Uh, Steam release will be next year. Stage keys. 7 key. Cool. Like keys. No. If you guys want to, if any. If you do decide to get on Epic Game Store, don't forget to use code word Dan's Gaming. Creator code Dan's Gaming. Thank you very much. Smiley face, winky face. Space Fox 2250. Do you think they'll make a Star Fox movie? I would watch a Star Fox movie. Space Fox. Space Fox 2050 live feed. Uh, let's see. Oh my god. Kind is on his feet, bleeding from his neck. Staff checking on him. Kevin 912890411. Fuck you. Blocked. Hashtag pray for Elcon. Hashtag pray for Kyan. Literally shaking right now. Saw, just saw someone die, and Kyan Clark has been attacking at, was attacked at signing. 
They shot him. He broke free. He's insane. A bit got. He, he's insane. He bit a guy trying to pin him down. Security got him. Uh, Bane stand two two five. Guy in front just left the table at Kai and Clark and is attacking him. What the fuck? No! People are starting to get their photos and signatures now. Bakara is in full paint. Dedication. Hashtag dedication. Hashtag Space Fox 2250. They're in full costume. They look great. Hashtag Space Fox 2250. They're here. Hashtag Space Fox. There's a guy in front who looks like Deb. Uh, said he wouldn't miss this for the world. Dicks like him why uh, we get con flu. Hashtag don't cough on me. Uh, waiting in line now. Small delay while the crew make final prep. Uh, Bane stand. Nope. These are con exclusive. Signings di are a different event, but you know, uh, I need the whole set. Got some cute merch. Hashtag space Fox. I'll upload the video later. Uh, you got to see it. Amazing. Guy in hilarious Voskart costume flexing with the DDO9 he made. It moves and makes noise. Does everything but fly. Already some amazing cosplay. Look out for those later. So many people. Hashtag space Fox. I'm waiting at Monarch City right now for the special signing. Whoop, whoop. I love how writers think that we use hashtags so much like that. The hashtags are something that businesses use, not really people very much. It's very rare for like a person just to type a hashtag. It's a very corporate thing. Like, hashtag dance gaming. Hashtag thick. Clear sight lines. Uh, hit him on the down, knock him down for a moderate boost to the damage. Then your range abilities, weapons thrown, and curveballs. Hmm. Hashtag gaming. I keep hearing something screaming in the distance, and I don't like that. It makes me up, it makes me nervous. Improvised hammer. Fasteners. Do people use hashtags to search for stuff? Rarely. Sometimes, but rarely. It's a... It's more of an Instagram thing. Not so much used on Twitter or most other social media sites. Occasionally, you might see it on TikTok, but it's kind of an outdated thing. Take that! Got him. Just think about yourself. How often do you, like, Click on a s hashtag or search by hashtag. Someone I bet it's not many. It's sometimes, but not many. Out of the sound stage, they gone down that alley. Could be Michael. Uh oh. Um, wow. Movie magic in action. Oh my God, we're like outside on the inside. Wait a minute. Do you mean to tell me that? Movies aren't real? I could open this big, scary spider door. Um... Well, it's in the big scary spider door, though. Uh, wonder what these do. Temple's door, rain effects, lights. Oh, God! Sir! Love my background so cool. Thank you. Hello. 
Wait, movies aren't real. What? I thought, I Let thought Ant Man and Marvel was real stuff. Uh, in this one, you you do craft, but you more like upgrade more than just craft. Like you find stuff, then you outside. upgrade those stuff. Been, Michael. I'll head through this soundstage, try and pick up this trail. Soundstage. Is it possibly? I watched um, the third Ant-Man last night uh, for the first time. And it was it was enjoyable, but it was definitely def Marvel movies are definitely getting weaker. It wasn't the best. It was kind of like the movies are getting weirder and stranger and more just like what the hell. Like I enjoyed it, but it was just like I don't know. It wasn't like amazing. It was like. The plot made no sense. <laughs> like, what is, what is this plot? <gasps> but other than that, it was fine. I need to get through that door there. Go through the sound stage. Is it? How do I get to where it wants me to go? I'm to open that door there. No. Uh, the latest D&D movie, uh, the Dungeon and Dragons movie that's in theaters, I watched it uh, a couple weeks ago. It's one of the best movies I've seen in a long time in the fantasy genre. It was, it was damn good. I was not expecting it to be as good as it, it was a really, really good movie. I was very surprised by how amazing it was. Because you wouldn't think D&D would make a good movie, but it, it was like one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. It was really good. Yeah, I, I, like, I, I watched it, I'm like, all right, it's Dungeons and Dragons, I like that. I'll, even if it's a bad movie, I'll sit through this. But it was like, oh my god, that was amazing. figure out what they want me to do. Can't go out that way. All wow, these poles are very electrified. Well, maybe up here. Oh, there it is. Finally found it. Okay, put this circuit breaker in there. Temple Doors FX. Light rig. Let's do rain effect. Light. Oh, uh, probably should have saved those. Oops. Hot. Oh, God. Dead. <laughs> Hold 
Paula from uh, TikTok, well, welcome to Twitch. Thank you for tuning in. Well, now we know to um, save those for later. Oh, what? Why are we way out here? What the hell? I mean, you probably could have spawned me further away, but not. But it was very impressive how far away you spawned me. I am very full of scrap. All right, let's um go back in there. And this time we will not waste the oh. How about we go with this sword? Thank you. <laughs> oh god, that's I'm creepy. Spoiling the illusion here. I know, it looked like a portal to hell, but now it's like just a sound stage. Boo. Storage box. The rise of the god spider. Director's note, must be delivered 405. Tom, Rio, the pebbled floor, it's getting worn by the rain machine. Lewis, can we get the machine in the highest setting? It's not enough. Meg, assist uh, with Jake on the cable management behind the set. Adam, the portal needs to be bluer. Add more trash around the set. Get that New York back street feel. Sean, uh, stabilize the back of the set. We need it safe for the uh, crew. Assist on costume delivery for extras. Alex is away on vacation in the lakes until Tuesday. You can take vacation on a movie set? Act two, done. Act three needs the reshoot. Close-ups of Kim at Temple, door opening. Reshoot, uh, spider foot FX. Failing spider tech needs repairs. Wardrobe correction for extras and scene SC10 as Jason. Oh my, that's like a temple. Grab all that. Oh, workbench. Let's see. What can we add to you? Um, gives minor physical and force boost, yes. Let's go reinforce, even more force boost. This thing swings slow but hard. A fuse. What's in here? A heavy wrench. I, haven't, I don't think I've fought anything with wrenches yet. That's a new one. Well, let's see. Wrench. Uh, bleed damage or physical? Let's go physical. Increases force, reduces attack speed. Increases attack speed, reduces force. Increases damage. Ooh, that's gonna hit hard. Oh, we're on a temple set. Hi! 
Sorry. Oh, they're in full costume. Oh, God. Uh oh. Damn. <laughs> you okay? Sorry. Woo! Oh, shit. Oh, her head. Damn! Oh god! Woo! No! God, I was trying to block. That timing is really rough on the blocks. You gotta cat hit it before they even start moving their arms. It's very weird. Bam! Mortis. Chat, that fire doesn't look real to me. It's kind of sus. Oh, God! Oh, shit! <laughs> she got wrecked! That is an interesting idea, though. Like, there's a movie set, and everyone's in costume, and then everyone turns into zombies while they're in costume. Very cool. Must be fun being an actor. Sir, oh god, your eyes are hanging out. Oh god. Woo! And again. Oh shit. His eyes be popping. Their eyes are tingling out. Oh dear God, that's nasty. Boom. Yeah, come on. Come on, I'm gonna swing at your butt! Oh! Ah, <laughs> oh, hammer is fun. I like to bonk bonk them. <laughs> Chat. Chat, you can't type Dan Peak when their eyes are hanging out. Come on. That's, no, have some sensitivity. Rise of the God Spider. Uh, International Underground Temple Night, or Interior Underground Temple Night. The vast central chamber is hollowed out of ancient rock with towering rock pillars supporting the ceiling far above. Shadows dance from the fires spaced at regular intervals around a huge central pit that descends into utter blackness. Cultists surround the hole, drumming a powerful rhythmic chanting and unearthly mel melody. Kim stands with her back to a rock pillar. Arms above her head, wrists man manacled together to an iron peg driven into the rock. Facing Kim stands the high priest, the spear of Zumzach held proudly in her left hand. She savors her moment of triumph. If you want it done, she leans in closely to stroke Kim's face. Send a woman. Sensuously, she unzips Kim's jacket halfway. Slides her hand inside across the contours of Tim Kim's body. She reaches for the inner pocket. Kim gives her an accusing look. High Priest just smiles and removes her hand from with uh, the egg. Glow <laughs> glowing with its evil green light nestled in her palm. She squeezes it gently. Watching with fascination, the glowing liquid inside sparkles with dark fire. Then she turns to the plinth in front of her with a goblet card from Black Rock sat atop it. Kim stares desperately at the goblet. 
You don't want to do this. The high priest ignores her and places the orb in the goblet. She takes the powder from the small dish and sprinkles it into the goblet. The orb starts to smoke. The membrane splits and the glowing green, the glowing green liquid flows out. The goblet begins to smoke. The high priestess takes the goblet in her right hand and holds it aloft. A, the drumming intensifies to a desperate crescendo. Green lightning ox comes arcing out of the shaft and strikes the goblet, illuminating the high priestess's delighted face. The rest of the callers fall back in terror as huge, horribly hairy spider legs emerge from the shaft. The, a terribly enormous spider rises in the chamber. High priestess shouts in triumph. It is I who have summoned you to claim my destiny. Huge spider rears up, its two front legs towering to the ceiling. It fixes its malevolent eyes on the high priest she stands, spear thrust out in one hand, goblet in the other, head thrown back to receive her blessing. The spider spits a gout of green venom, completely coating the high priestess. She screams in horrified agony as her flesh melts away. As her bones also begin to melt, she collapses into the smoking pool of green slime to reveal Kim's face looking on in horror. The spear and goblet fall to the ground and the goblet rolls up to Kim's feet. Still with some smoking green uh, glowing acid inside of it, a few drops spill out and hiss and spark as they melt the rock. The spider starts to shoot more venom at screaming cultists who are trying to run away. Kim stretches out her legs, hooks her foot under the goblet, and flicks it up right through the air, past her face, and she manages to grab the base by the tips of the finger. The goblet wobbles unsteadily as she barely holds it, the acid sloshing around and almost spilling under her tense, upturned face. She gets firmer grip, turns liquid on the lock of the manacles. They smoke and melt. Kim bursts free, somersaulting away as the gout of venom strikes the rock where she had just been held. Slow motion, Kim flips and twists through the air as gouts of venom shoot past her, just missing her until the back flips into the cover behind the large rock. Pressing her back to it, she peers around the side. The spider is now shooting webs which cocoon fleeing cultists, a trailing thread that yanks them up into the spider's bloated abdomen. Kim ducks back out of sight. We realize a cultist is also behind the rock, peering around the other side. He also ducks back away. They are side by side as they nose each other. The cultist grins nervously. Cut to the cultist trembling from behind the rock, propelled by Kim's boot. He's hit by a flying web and enveloped, then yanked through the air to stick to the spider's body next to the row of other cocoons. They each have dinner-sized plate spiders all over them. The co cocoons swarm as more of these spiders swarm over, sinking their fangs in. Kim emerges from behind the rock at a sprint. Running at the huge spider, she snatches up the spider's spear. The spear, planting one end of the plinth without breaking the stride, pole vaults to fly through the air towards the spider's mouth, spear end first. With terrible speed, the spider reacts, firing a web at her. Kim twists, but it wraps around her legs just as the thread is about to yank her up. She slashes through it with the spear and falls to the ground. The web around her le legs catches on an outcrop of rock as she bounces around. The spear flies from her hand. No, 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 no! She, Kim catches as the spear, spears it drops. Above her, the spider starts to climb the pit wall towards her. Kim continuing sarcastic mutter, take a vacation. Kim using the spear to saw at the web holding her leg. Kim continues sarcastic muttering, it'll be relaxing. Oh. What a great script. That's gonna be an uh, Emmy oh, for sure, yes. or an Oscar. Well, I could have used this over here to kill all those guys, but you know, whatever. Ugh, caustic slime, like in the hotel pool. Ugh. How'd it get here? Ugh. Let's wash out all away, please. Break those as well. It sounds like a good movie. Damn, locked. Oh, Open oh, from their side, of course. I'll save that for later, the lights go going boomy. Wait a minute, this is there's no temple over here. What? Is this all a movie set? Well oh, son of a bitch. Thought it was in a temple. Some 
some nice looking trees back here. Um. Hi, zombies! Anyone want to one to the face? Come on, I gotta charge up for you. Yeah! Oh, take that! Oh, his eyes! Whee! Oh! Smack! Ah, nice. Wait, green screen? They're gonna have green screen stuff, like CGI? It's a high budget movie. up these stairs first. White Delta, thank you for that resub. 19 Diabolus, Carl IV, Atrix Gaming, Hauser, Real Ozen, Diano G. Thank you very much, guys. Marvel Studios. Yes. Um, nothing. <gasps> I love the hammers. It's my favorite weapon so far. Stabbed. Michael's weapon of choice. He went this way. This Michael guy better be worth it. Footprints. Now I'm getting somewhere. Why are they all... Why are they painting them green? Alright, Michael... Where are they now? Which way? Well, he walked. His footprints kind of trail off here. I see zombies and. Well. Oh, I hope he didn't try this way. That's okay. They want some funsies. Ugh! Ow! Oh god, double brute. Those guys are intent. Okay, come on. Come on, muscle daddy.
Yeah! Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, her brain! Man! Alright, I'm tired of- Oh, there we go. <laughs> her brain was just out, just like, Hey, how's it going? Okay, they are both, um, super dead now. The gore in this game is great. Like, just bashing the zombies in and watching their, them, like, fall apart is really fun. Medkit. Brick break. Big break. Mitch, how's the shoot? Yeah, it's great. Got a glimpse of Emma earlier. I've been thinking about my lines. Should I play it straight or intense? This could be my big break. So I just want to make an impression, you know? As you're do what feels right. That's what they pay you for. Right, right, right. Wouldn't be too much if I cry, just a little. Should the director will let you know if there's anything he really wants. Sure, I don't want to overdo it. But more than that, I don't want to underdo it. I feel like my scene could be more emotional core of the movie. Aaron, you have one line. The line is okay. Don't ever think this. Just get your damn paycheck and move on. Okay. <laughs> this could be my moment, all right? This could be the time I've been waiting for. Now, do I go, okay? Or do I go, okay? Or do I go, okay? Maybe, oh, okay. Michael? My Jason! Jason! <gasps> More footprints. Good thing he's clumsy. What is down that other way I was going, though? So he's got yellow foot, orange footprints going this way. Oh, I hope he didn't try this way. What the hell is that thing? Hi! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Don't got a foot anymore? My bad. Take that, madam. It's like some sort of spaceship or something. Gross. Ugh. What am I following here? Some sort of spitter. There's something after it. Definitely something that there's gonna be some sort of creature that spits venom or something soon. Oh god, sir! Yeah, come on, come on, you son of a bitch! Oh! Yeah! Got him. Yeah, they he that the runner was able to dodge the slow weapon, which is not cool. God, that's gruesome. <laughs> I love it. So much gore. Uh. 
Fifty Shades of Mahogany. What? Dear whoever takes out the garbage, I don't know who put an order for this dresser, but it's cliched faux mahogany not to be permitted on my set. How could it be confused with the exquisite rosewood shade I specific very specifically requested baffles me. Relation on failing approach meeting even my exceedingly low expectations. Move it to the disposal area immediately. Thank you, Steve. Steve sounds like an, an asshole. Want to see the gameplay of this in the German version? Apparently it's censored. Yeah, some countries have laws about like, like in Japan, you can't show like bones. You can only show, or like, there's some weird thing about Japan where you can't show like guts and gore in certain ways. Like I believe in, um, for like World of Warcraft, um, they had to remove the bones from the undead race that was sticking out because you weren't allowed to put those on there for some reason. Sensors are always very weird. Some about random stuff. Or is that China? Yeah, some countries, like, you can't have certain things, like, showing on the body, either for religious reasons or just culturally, like, it's not allowed or something. There's, like, different rules you have to have for different countries. So if you release a game internationally, you have to, like, sometimes have very different versions for different countries. Like, censoring, heavily censorship in some countries. Um, like, in, like, for uh, Wolfenstein, you can't show the Nazi flag in, like, Germany, like, because it's illegal in any game in a lot of places. So they had to like remove all the Nazi flags and the German version of Wolfenstein replaced it with something else. I think it's different now, but they used to have to like remove them from certain things. So every country has different like, things you're not allowed to show. Like United States, you can't show, there's certain parts of the body you're not allowed to show in certain contexts, in certain ways. Like, if you have, like, boobs, you automatically get, like, an M rating, like, mature. There, there's all kinds of, like, weird censorship stuff. And every country's different, has their own things. They like to censor for different reasons. Battery. Do I, well, I need that battery. Tasty donut? I want a tasty donut. Come on, walk up. Come on, man. Let's go for your leg. Space Fox 2050 prop key. Hmm. Cash. Um. Okay. All righty then. Where the hell did this guy go? You saw he went that way and then that way. Oh God, she punched me. Help us low, use a med kit. Yeah, she punched the shit out of me. Okay, we know he went this way. Then he for sure went this way. <laughs> Squish. Uh, 
This game is set in LA. It cause it's called LA. They call location LA. You can see the Hollywood sign and stuff. So definitely LA. Now, where the hell did he go? Sorry, ma'am. Whoops. Thanks, madam. Where the hell did this man go? His trail kind of stops. Well, I went in there. It must be down this left street. Very expensive place to live. And it's very hot and dry all the time. It's not good for me. Buy your house for 129,000 in LA. You're, the same house would be 1.5 million. Yeah, you can save. You can get a mansion in like the Midwest for this price of a small home in LA. It's just their housing market is insane. Uh, more footprints. Yeah, you really got to admire the man's dedication to running through paint. Way to go, Michael. Got stabbed here. I knew he was so deadly. Uh, Kelly, Joe, Long Leonjatek, friends without benefits. What? No benefits? Scope. I am very curious about the Alexa integration on this and how well it works. Uh, in order for a scope to turn online, you have to connect Alexa to your game. It's the first game I've ever heard of having Alexa inside of the game before. Michael. Michael. Now this set is called Omen to Kill. She doesn't believe in omens. Oh. Friends without benefits. I've got another script. Uh, idyllic forest day. Camera pans from feet to reveal Sophia and Benji romantically kissing. Birds flutter around them and woodland creatures gaze happily at them. They break apart, gazing into other eyes. Sophia, I love you. They kiss again. Dissolve to Benji's bedroom. Day. Benji lies dreaming in bed, smiling and making happy sounds. Horatio the pug is licking his face all over. Benji opens his eyes and happily changes 
changes to uh, consternation as he looks in Horatio's face. Horatio looks back, tongue sticking out, and whines. Uh, audience laughs. Benji reluctantly sits up. He wipes the slobber from his face and looks at it in dismay. Benji, oh man, Horatio. Horatio plops off the bed and waddles out. Benji flops back and stares forlornly at the ceiling. Audience awes. Uh, Sophia is kneeling on the floor, <coughs> happily fussing over Horatio, scrunching up her face as he licks it. Oh, I love you. Dissolved to Sophie, Sophia's bedroom day. Sophia lies dreaming in bed. She wears a I Hate Mornings t-shirt. She smiles and makes happy sounds. Keem is in bed with her. He is lovingly giving her delicate pecks on her cheeks. Sophia opens her eyes. Her smile freezes on her face. Keem is so happy he doesn't notice anything wrong. Hakeem, hi. Sophia is remembering what happened last night in a big rush. She forces a smile. Sophia, uh, hi. Keem is bursting with happiness. Can't believe this. You and me. She nods, eyes wide. Tell me about it. Audience laughs. Keem leaps out of bed. Today it's going to be so great. Come on, we're going to miss out on the best part of the day. He bounces out of the room. Sophia plops down, pulls pillow her face, and screams into it. See, that is a terrible show. Like, that's going to be real bad. When you have to write in audience laughs and audience, audience goes, aw, it's like, ugh, I hate that stuff. It's so unnatural. Hmm, we got the big wrench. We're saving it for a good fight, which looks like it's about to come up. A big fight. So let's take this guy. Oh. Where do you go from here? Uh, oh, I see more of that goop. Take the elevator. Something tells me that this elevator is not going to be what it appears. Hmm. This looks like a boss room if I ever saw one. Come on, come on, hurry up. Oh, my eyes are so dry. 